Hey, this is Gavin Palmer with Hero Looking for Group, and I, uh, I went down a little rabbit hole this morning. Of course, I ask. Well, maybe I had, I'll be honest, I didn't really ask God what I should be doing, which is, now that I'm doing it, it feels good and right. Um, and so, but I did try to take care of my body and my mind, and What I was looking for was a clip of Jordan Peterson talking about um, what would happen if we all focused on um, a good story. Because Peter Thiel talks about how there's three different fear-based stories and he understands how the climate change story is the one that's winning. And um, and so I, uh, (laughs) I went to this Pajot Peterson He sounds so whiny now compared to what he sounded like in 2018. He's hard to listen to um, now. And he, uh, but he he talks about here, there's this, um, I want to talk a little bit about heaven. And then he mentions Matt Ridley and Dorn Longberg. And uh, then I was was like, oh, Jacob mentioned Dorn Longberg. So I went and I went to, I went to the, I searched for Jordan Peterson, Bjorn Lomberg, and I tried to add a comment. I left a comment. It's not showing up. If I refresh, will it show up? And no, my comment is no longer there. That comment I saw previously is no longer there. So their comments don't work very well. Um, I tried getting it. I then tried to do a contact. I wanted to be able to contact Jordan Peterson. It's, It's not easy to contact Jordan Peterson. So, And the reason I want to contact him is because he talks to Bjorn Lomberg here. Let's put this face up. Bjorn Lomberg basically wants to rank the problems for the United Nations, which is a good idea, ranking the problems. Um, but the issue with ranking the problems is that, uh, well, the way he does it is he says for every dollar spent, what's the return? So it's a cost-benefit analysis. And, you know, Jordan Peterson asked a great question at the end, and I'm going to skip to that. You know, what are the best criticisms? And so Bjorn responded, not all issues are about money. And I had written this up earlier. And uh, he also, this is the more important one, is this, the, they assume everyone is of equal worth. So, like, this is what I was thinking the whole time. It's like, what, uh, you're going to save people in China, and they live under a Chinese government, and what what good is that going to do? Or you're going to save Hitler, and what good is that going to do? <laughs> so, you know, there some some people are people are not of equal worth. Um, they have equal potential. Um, theoretically, you know, it depends on their environment, but the goal would be to create that environment, which is why I like to think about education. Um, but anyways, my analysis uh, is that Bjorn is not very good in the solution space, and he's, he's not even that great in the problem space uh, because he's, I mean, it's good to try to rank your problems, but um, he's not even doing a great job at ranking the problems. Um, and that's because the problems, your, your ability to rank a problem needs to be based on um, some ability to measure the value of uh, the, the benefit of the solution, which means you have to have a solution in mind. And so you, in order to rank the problem, you have to be good in the solution space. And he's not good in the solution space. Jordan Peterson is not good in the solution space. Jordan Peterson is better than Bjorn. Um, but most popular people are not good in the solution space. And this is where, you know, I'm a, soft, I'm a professional software engineer. I deal with complexity. And I'm high in a competence hierarchy among software engineers. And that's what's missing in this world is people who can deal with complexity, who have been doing it for decades, they and have risen up um, within competence hierarchies within the business world and within various organizations, they ought to have a bigger voice. Because if you're missing that voice, you're going to be ranking problems incorrectly and you're going to be ignoring good solutions. Um, and you will be ignoring, for example, a solution that can solve 
many problems. So like, <laughs> that's, that's, that's interesting. So like, a, so climate change, for example, well, what if you solved the problem for climate change while you solve the problem for lifting people in poverty out of poverty, while you solve the problem of energy so that people have an abundance of energy. So you can create abundance of energy, you can lift people out of poverty and solve climate change, right? There's, there's a solution for this. Um, and Bjorn's not aware of it, and the people who are aware of it, and the people um, who, have, who are good at getting people's attention, they don't have the solution. And the people who have solutions maybe aren't as good at getting people's attention. And so this is the this is the problem is how do you find smart people? <laughs> Bjorn mentioned that some experiment, you know, I forget, maybe is in the 1800s where they got the 50 smartest people and got them asked them to predict what would happen in 100 years. Well, how did they pick the 50 smartest people? Because obviously they weren't the 50 smartest. If only a few of them actually had good predictions. Like that's the problem. We don't know how to actually pick the smart people. Bjorn is not the smart people. Jordan Peterson is not the smart people. And so the smart we're not good at identifying smart people. And one way you can just check, you can check, is Bjorn smart? Well, go to his think tank and you go see, oh, no positions available. So what they, he, Bjorn says we're, con, we're constrained by the resources that we have available. Well, the most valuable resource in the world is our attention. And he has a sense of that because he wants to rank the problems so that he knows where to focus his attention. The problem is, is he's got a limited number of people with a limited number, a limited amount of attention. And so what he's not doing is he's not allowing volunteers that don't cost money to come in and help be part of the think tank. That's not that's what he's not doing. So he's overemphasizing money. He thinks he's going to have to pay his volunteers or something or pay these people to be a part of his think tank. He's overemphasizing money. He mentioned that as a good valid criticism. Not all issues are about money. And then there's no, there's no outlet for the smart people to actually connect with the people who aren't that smart. <laughs> that's, that's the issue. So, and then you can do the same thing with Jordan Peterson. Try to connect with Jordan Peterson. You can't do it. If I could get, connect with Jordan Peterson right now with his whiny voice, I would say, go dance with your child, your your grandchildren. Just start dancing. That would be your, that would be your medicine. You know, you find the good music, learn how to dance, and do it regularly, and lose yourself to dance. I say that with a smile, but I'm also being serious. He, he is not um, a healthy person, and that's the problem. You know, you you go around, he, he, <laughs> Bjorn. He, he has these solutions where he just says. You know, values all people equally. And it's like, well, some people, um, they have more capacity to help because they have more experience with, for example, complexity. There are solutions that can, that can check off many problems, but that requires an understanding of complexity. And in some of these solutions, for example, he said something like, there's something about cancer. He said, Bjorn, he says, cancer is expensive and we don't know how to deal with it. Actually, we do. It's called cannabis. Cannabis cures cancer. He doesn't know this. It's because he's not that smart. And then he says, but we can use cheap medics, medication for heart disease. He's not that smart. Nutrition, it helps solve cancer and it helps solve heart disease. I mean, and then where does nutrition come from? It comes from water. Okay, so... If you solve the water problem, and I would also call it waste management, I connect those together because if you don't do waste management correctly, talking to you Bjorn, talking to you Jordan Peterson, you have to solve the water problem, which is connected to waste management. Okay, that's at the foundation. And then once you solve the water problem and connected to the waste management problem, you now have nutrition. You're allowed to have nutrition. You can have nutrition that occurs naturally. It does not require effort because you build a system that is sustainable. You can transform the deserts into green space. You can lift people out of poverty. Poverty is connected to the health of the ecosystem. That's like that's what's valuable is water and food and the ability to cultivate and develop the land. That's what's valuable. 
That's the reason the United States is great is because the ecosystem. It's not the people, right? It's the environment that you're in. So we can actually transform environments, deserts into green spaces by focusing on clean water and waste management. And then that captures carbon, solves the climate change issue while allowing you to do anaerobic digestion of this carbon material such that you can extract methane and then you can use the methane to power all of these vehicles that we already have the infrastructure for. So it's, I mean, this, this solution of finding smart people who understand this problem of clean water, this root cause of clean water and waste management, and it connects to climate change and poverty and connects to energy, right? It's a solution that these, these popular people, they're not going to realize this. And, you know, I told Jordan Peterson, I sent that message. I don't know, maybe, maybe somehow I got lucky and I could send a message. And I said, get in touch with me. I shared my email. I shared my website. We'll see, guys. I don't have a lot of hope for these people. They, um, they think they are smarter than they really are. And the reason I can say that is because I used to be that way. I went from being hero to being hero looking for group because I know that the group can do more than the individual. That's why I realized that, hey, the, the, the lesson is you have to solve this problem. How do you allow people to connect with you? And so I'll end with that. I'll leave a link to my Discord channel in the description below. I appreciate your attention. I don't mean to sound cocky. Um, I don't mean to sing, sound arrogant. And, and you may think I need to be more humble, but I promise you, it's like the people who allow you to connect with them, they are more humble than the ones who don't allow you to connect with them. Period. End transmission.